Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my vlog. It's going to be a bit different than last week where I did that prepared comedy bit about what I might do if I met an alien. The answer is I'd make love to them. Uh, but we are talking about the same topic, love, and a few instances kind of connected in a weird way where I struck out in love. So stay with me, this is going to be a bit of a long story. I'd just broken up with a girl, but I was working at YTV and my makeup artist had mentioned to me that she was also working at Much Music and did the makeup for... Hannah Simone. Ow. Now, uh, I, being a, a new TV host, thought, hey, it wouldn't be too out of the blue or or impossible for one TV host to, to date another, so uh, I mustered up some courage, and uh, with uh, Carrie, the makeup artist's encouragement, I sent a Facebook message to Hannah Simone and sent her a, a friend request, because like calling someone to ask them on a date, I, I'm far too shy. A person do that sort of thing so uh, I didn't hear anything back from Hannah Simone then uh, a couple of weeks later I went to Fan Expo as a fan uh, YTV wasn't covering the event and I had yet to take my job with space I spotted in Artist Alley this this rather attractive redhead who was doing some drawings and I thought oh well she's an artist uh, so am I in a weird way maybe this will work out and I went up to her booth and I took a business card, because actually talking to her would have required way too much bravado, and I don't actually have that. So I uh, went home and I sent her an email saying, hey, I'm AJ, I noticed you at Fan Expo, you're very cute, maybe we could go on a date sometime. And she sent me a nice letter saying, uh, sorry, I, I have a boyfriend, we, we just met, and uh, you know we can be friends maybe. And flash forward a few months and I meet a new girl and uh, we fall for each other and she moves in with me and I begin my new job working for space. Now, moving to space, I knew I would be working in 299 Queen West, which is the same building where much music shoots, and that's where Hannah Simone works. I thought, oh, this is going to be really, really awkward if she recognizes me. Fortunately, uh, she left much music not too long after I started at space, so there was only maybe about a six to eight month crossover period, and in that time we only like saw one another maybe a handful of times. One of the first people I meet when I work at space is a guy named Steve, who at that time was one of the editors for the show that I was working on called The Circuit. And Steve and I are about the same age, and, and we became fast friends. Now, Fan Expo, at the end of August, was the second event that I worked for space. And I walked into our booth, and there is Steve with the redhead from Fan Expo from the prior year. Their boyfriend-girlfriend. I didn't know that. Now, at that Fan Expo, Steve and I knew one another and maybe had lunch together once, but we weren't as close friends as we are to this day. What he revealed to me when I finally had the guts to ask him straight out, Hey, did your girlfriend ever tell you that I had hit on her? He said, yeah. He also told me that when I auditioned for Space, it was his job to cut together all of the auditions, and when the producers who were making the decision about who to hire for the job on Space asked him what he thought, he said that they should hire me. So in many ways, I have to thank Steve for my job on Space. So thanks, buddy. But our story isn't over yet. I'm still dating my ex, so this is still years ago, and Hannah Simone hasn't worked for much music in a number of years at this point. But out of nowhere, I get a message saying Hannah Simone has accepted my friend request. So, gorgeous Hannah Simone is now my Facebook friend. Of course, my, my now ex didn't like that very much and made me remove her from my friends list immediately. Uh, so to this day, I have never really had a talk with Hannah Simone. I don't know if she ever got that Facebook message where I asked her out, and I, I don't know if she even knew who I was <laughs> while we worked in the same building together. I honestly have no idea. And Steve and his red-headed girlfriend, well, they broke up a couple of years ago, and funny story there as well, Steve and I were both on OkCupid at around the same time between his big ex and his now girlfriend and my now fiance. And my highest rated match on OkCupid was this beautiful, blonde, blue-eyed Swedish girl. Guess who Steve's dating now? Yep. And they're very happy together, and I am, of course, very happy with Zara as well, so I'm actually lucky in that I was unlucky in those previous times because I cannot wait to get married to Zara. But I suppose there's a small part of me that's kind of wondering whether Hannah Simone would have ever given me the time of day. But that's all I got for this vlog. Hopefully you found my, my true stories uh, a little hilarious as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the future.